Hey YouTubers, it's me, Gregor Good again. Okay, um, I know it's been quite a while since I've made a video, so here goes. Um, in this video, I've gotten a couple requests from people wanting to know how I made um, some themes for V Bulletin, so I figured I would try and help show how the basic process of that is. So, um, you're gonna need WAMP server to do this. Um, you just Google it. It'll be like the first one you'll see. So we can I'll show you. Just type in WAMP. I'll put a link to the side to their site. So you don't really have to go look for it. It's WAMPserver.com. Um and you just download this and then install it. Just do all the default settings when you install it. I already did mine. Um so when you run it you you can run it from the desktop if you put a, a de link there or wherever. Just run it. Click here. It's a it's a left click, and then you can click on localhost, and that'll show you like all your projects. Um, I made a folder called theme. You just go here, um, click on www directory, and then you know right click and put a folder here. Go into that folder. Now we need to get V Bulletin. I'll put a link to. Well, you better not. Um, y you'll have to find it. Um, <coughs> VB Team. That info. Okay, sorry. That was that was my thing. Um, I'll put a link to VB Team. Not the file itself, but I'll put a link to VB Team, and then you can go and download it from there. Um, you'll just have to find it. You have to be smart. Use your brain. Yeah. Oh wait. Do you have one? No. I, I guess I guess you do. I don't know. We'll see. Um, let's see if you can follow this. Uh, we're going to go to downloads. Here I have it right here. Um, now you're going to want to highlight all. So just click on one of them. And click control A. And then kind of drag it into here. Or you can copy. If you don't want to move it from that folder. Copy and paste. And then take a second or two. And then once we get this in here, we're going to have to go into includes. Once this is done, we have to edit one file. But first, we need to go in here, go to lo um, go over here, and click on um, PHP My Admin. And then we need to make a new database. So click on Databases tab. I'll load it a second. Okay. Now create new database. Um, just name it theme. Doesn't really matter what you name it. I mean, you can name it something really funny or something. Okay, and then down here, I'm going to go ahead and close that guy. We need to go into includes. We need to find this guy config.php.new. Rename it. Get rid of the dot new. So it's just config.php. Um, now I use Crimson Editor. I'll put a link to that too, because it it you know it does it does it really nice. So we'll go ahead and drag that in here. Now you just need to change database name to the name you put as a database. I'll put theme. You don't need to do that. Get rid of this. DB Master. Um, and then just leave it root with no password because that's what the default settings on here are. So go ahead and, and save this. And we can go ahead and minimize him. And now we need to. Now we edited that file. We need to install it. So go ahead and um, click on theme on this page. It says it says a, has an error. Type in install slash install.php and then just go through these steps and if it gives you an error then you you edited the file wrong and you fail at life okay so it's gonna go through this whole list of tables that it's creating and we're just gonna go through all these 
all, whenever you're gonna do a new theme, always make it with the latest version of the bulletin, because that prevents problems on pe from people who have an, a newer version of the bulletin. Because sometimes they can create token errors, and th they're very, um, they're very not fun at all. So d go ahead and if you want to name it, it, it'll just appear up here in this thing when you go to it. So it looks cleaner than just form. And then just keep going through. Now you're gonna put in your username and password and and you know um, put in your email. And then there's your admin ap account. And then now you you need to delete. So you need to go in here. It's a delete the install.php. So go to install. Click on init.php uh, uh, dot php and install. Highlight both of them and then delete both of them. And then we we'll go here and click on this little link down here <coughs> that takes you to your admin CP. You just log in, and there you go. You're logged in. So that's that's on that. Now we need to go. Go ahead and, and uh, let's see. We'll, we'll go to our form here so you can see what it'll look like. It'll look just like like that. And you you could add forms if you want to different things like that. Um, I'm just gonna leave it default for now. We need to go in here and we need to go to images. And this is just to show you like the basics. So let's go ahead and change a gradient. How's that? Um, let's pick one of these guys. Drag them into Photoshop. I already have Photoshop open. If it'll load up anytime soon, that'll be great, but we'll see. I need, I, de I desperately need to upgrade my RAM. I'm going too soon now. And then I'll be running a lot faster. Go ahead and let this load up in here. Now, to edit these, because they're a, a GIF, you need to go to Image, Mode, and click on RGB Color and then you can edit it. Now just double click here so you unlock the background layer and I'll click it'll say layer 0 just click OK and then you've unlocked him so you can edit him now. So now we're going to do a new gradient. I'll just leave it with these grays. I like gray stuff. Um, you can do all sorts of cool stuff with these gradients you know and you could add you know like a pattern so you have the pattern stamp tool you could add like a like a scan line pattern, you could add all sorts of stuff on here. Use your imagination, make it fun, make it different than anybody else's. Um, sorry, and then you know, just go to save, and then it's gonna bring up this thing. Just click here to change the file type to to GIF, CompuServe GIF, and then just click save. Click OK. Click OK again, and one more time click OK, and there you go. Now we can go see what it did. Let's just refresh, and wa wow, look at that. You changed an image. And then you just go through, you could go to buttons, uh, if you have a good idea for a button, you, know, you change your buttons. Let's see, you got the default ones. Um, you can go ahead and change the background color. You go to styles you might want to add a new style by clicking here instead but I'm just going to edit the the main one so go to main CSS and look here oh look what you did um, now you can go ahead and change the background color to a darker one if you want and you have to change page background because it's um, well you'll figure it out once you start figuring out more of this you'll figure stuff out I'm not going to explain everything like your baby but um, that's pretty much it right there sometimes it freezes your, at least mine I don't know if it'll do yours but um, then you can refresh here and look what you did you changed the background color aren't you proud of yourself yeah I'm sure you are and now you just go through and, and change all these ones to the colors that you like um, try to keep them so they match because it's not fair if you don't for the world.
because if your colors don't match, it's gonna look ugly, and I'll get I'll be blamed, and I don't want to be blamed for your hideous theme. Okay, so I want to give a thanks to um, TJ for getting me to make this video. He was the main main requester of this video, so give him a thanks in the comment if you can. Um, if you liked my video, please subscribe. I'd like to be able to be a p YouTube partner someday, so that would help me out a lot if you could just click the subscribe button.